Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be my Air Tycoon 4 series. Now last time uh, we were doing the MD11s weren't we? Yeah, I uh, didn't know that was actually going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I just it just suddenly came out and I was like, what? MD11? You're coming out? So yeah, we put that in. And we also did the subordinate route as well, didn't we? Uh, come out the MD11. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I wouldn't go as far as my favourite American aircraft, but it's definitely my favourite um, uh, one from Douglas, McDonnell Douglas by far, then after that is the DC-8, uh, that, that's pretty nice as well, but MD-11 is uh, my favourite overall, and uh, yeah, it was a uh, <laughs> shame that they don't actually fly passenger services anymore, it's just the cargo ones, because KLM retired it. And in 2014, in fact, my last fleet history uh, was that, because I thought, well, <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to do that. So, right. And uh, today, uh, what we're planning on doing... I don't think we were really planning on doing anything. Uh, we could, in fact... Oh, yeah, we're sort of, uh, sort of thinking about setting a route with them. Because it's 1989, February 1989, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to get these MD-11s, set up routes with them, and then we're going to be going and... Uh, <coughs> And setting up rules of the 747 possibly next episode, maybe this episode, but I doubt it because the uh, thing with the MD-11 is going to take uh, quite long. So what I mean by this is I am going to get some MD-11s and sort of replace them and uh, do do some more uh, in the Asia, but in Asia because I've been doing that for a long time. Originally I wanted to say, oh, uh, I want to do uh, from London as well because I mean I did some long haul routes with the 747 a few episodes ago. And what the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you just have a look, if I just go on London, come on, there we go. <laughs> No idea what it's doing there is if it loads. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of routes coming out here, and those ones are all with the 747, so they're popular places Tokyo, Seoul, Beijing, Shanghai, etc. And so, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'll, I'll probably be doing that uh, pro um, probably within a few episodes' time, but this episode I do want to try and sort out the ones uh, that are currently going uh, from Los Angeles because I said I wanted to do it in a while, and uh, the DC 10 just didn't have enough range. Because I mean, going from Los Angeles, the one I want to replace the most is from Los Angeles to Kuala Lumpur, and that just never has this right amount of. Um, uh, capacity. I mean, right now it's not the highest it's ever got, but I mean, I've only seen at maximum of about eighty-three percent. But yeah, look at that. That can that has that needs a lot less capacity. And so we are going to be replacing that. We can set it up uh, with other things, but essentially it just didn't have enough range. So the DC-10. So hopefully I can um, uh, uh, get sit, get these uh, MD-11s and uh, upgrade uh, one of them. And so I'm going to get at least one. They're not going to get uh, to, to another ten, I should think. Uh, so then I can. Um, <coughs> Uh, just, I don't know what I did there, but I <laughs> don't think I did anything with it, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, I will uh, have to uh, set up that route and then we can do some other ones, so, because uh, I already replaced the other ones which I did before, which were adequate enough with the DC-10, so this is 301 seats, uh, could I do that for 32, oh, I don't know, 93, don't think I really need that, uh, I am going to be having to upgrade the seats, because um, uh, uh, it was coming into the 1990s, that I will probably do outside of the episode, I might do some in the episode, but you know what it is if you've uh, done this game before. You literally go on here and go, uh, right, change those seats, put the new thing in, change those seats, put the new thing in, change those seats, put the new thing in. And to be honest, because I've just replaced these now, all of these are going to have uh, the wrong seats. So I'm going to have to go through them, each and every one of them, because you can't uh, do, you can't renovate them under, um, under, uh, above, sorry, above 60%, you have to, they have to be under it. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> right, uh, what do I need? I need super engine and fuse life co coatings. I just all of that. I just want to check how much of this. So that's 8,793 miles. You probably can't see that, but I can. And so how many, um, how much range does this have? Uh, all 9,000, so yeah, that'll be enough. And so I can finally replace it. <laughs> that's been a bit annoying. Uh, oh, I guess the one I can do now is, um, yeah, I'm not going to Bangkok, so I think I'll just go, go to Bangkok with that simple sim when I replace it. So yeah, anyway. And I'll get some uh, uh, MD-11. I'm sorry if, uh, yeah, <laughs> it seems a little bit bright outside, uh, black bright in this recording. I am recording it on a really hot day. I've seen it's been 25 degrees today. And <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I really want a fan, but then you just hear it in the background, that would be annoying. So, yeah, I've got some water. Oh, which I really need right now. And so, yeah, uh, I will be uh, just uh, probably drinking that quite a bit because I really need it. <laughs> I am really, really, I really, really need to keep myself hydrated because it's a very, very hot day. So we won't need anything on that. We can upgrade it if we need to, but hopefully we shouldn't because uh, this does have quite a bit of range anyway. That's two billion. <laughs> 
So yeah, now I have uh, quite a few MD11s on order. And that's the idea I Also, uh, hopefully, maybe this, um, probably not this episode actually, um, after we've done the Seven Horse I want to do more with Conquer because I said I was going to do that and then I set up a few and then just never done it again, so... And yeah, it does go out of production um, in 2003 because for some reason the game does that instead of 1979 when it actually does, but yeah. I've decided that I will be uh, hopefully uh, doing some more cobble services, and I want to try and carry them on. So what I'll do is I'll do what I did in Jet Britain, which is buy. A, um, I bought because I, I can't remember where I was going. I think it was Ma was it Manchester to Palmer. I think it was Manchester to Palmer. Um, and I just kept uh, a Concorde in storage for when the the one I had on there ran out of its lifespan, and then I just put it in. Uh, so yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing that with these ones. I will be replacing them soon because they got 100, and, uh, they got 127 months of them, so they've they've still got more than 10 years of uh, worthy service left. Uh, but I will be. Oh no, not that one. <laughs> not that one at all. Those ones, they really need to be replaced. Look at that. Yeah, they really do, don't they? So, and yeah, that will be after. That will have to be something which uh, I'll need to do in the future, but. Yeah, today it's going to be all about the MD-11 and setting up routes from Los Angeles. Because, I mean, we haven't really been doing very many things from Los Angeles. But, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I really just want to uh, get uh, this airline to be uh, a lot more profitable, um, more on routes, especially from, like, Los Angeles. Because, I mean, I want to expand into Asia. There's loads of popular places in Asia that I can go into, and I've just not connected up to because the DC-10 limited my range. And, uh, yeah, 747s. Uh, that had the most range, but the capacity, uh, was, uh, very limited. Uh, oh, got the Dash 8 as well. And, uh, oh! What did I say would happen? I thought it was a symbol. We'll do that next episode, okay? Let's have a look at it now, but we will be... I'll save that for next episode, because I want to get this MD-11 thing done, and I don't want to stall it any longer, so... I'll just have a look at how much better it is compared to the other series. Uh, so I'll do it compared to the 200 that's what we're doing. Uh, same sort of seats, a lot more range, which is good. Uh, a bit faster, which is good. A lot higher, um... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, satisfaction, which is also good. Uh, yeah, we will be getting that, uh, as I said, next episode. Because right now, I want to try and get these MD11s in. Because if I get that, then I'll probably just forget about them. Uh, so <laughs> I can't believe that. Literally the next turn after I do the MD11s. <sighs> That's just me, isn't it? So right, let's just go across there uh, uh, into what is it? We're now going to April. Uh, oh. You can't just copy produced anymore. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to replace that with the um A three hundred six hundred for now. I'm just gonna have to buy them up. So I won't replace them because there's really no point. But I'll just have to buy A three hundred six hundred. Uh, they have exactly the same capacity, I think. Um. I just have more range, but I'll have to, uh, yeah, I'll have to just buy them until the A3 th A330s come out, which is going to be their replacement. But yeah, <laughs> did not expect that. Wow, okay. God, I probably took that production in, so yeah, that, wow. <laughs> yeah, we all have to do it, so yeah. Uh, let's let's just get on with uh, doing these MD11s then, and uh, then we can uh, have a look into this A300 uh, thing uh, after this, and then, uh, but as I said, next episode will be some more so I won't be doing anything about that. So yeah, now uh, let's go put these in then.
put in. <laughs> Always a, uh, a thing after you do time lapses. Why I actually did was because I'd um, uh, because the fact that there was just barely any places um, that I could go in Asia. There, I, there was a lot less than I thought there was. There was quite a few in China. 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 You need to shut the China up. Yes, I thought oh, I'll connect up to there, and I probably did about half of them, and then I just went, well, there's no uh, place else really. Uh, so yeah, I also set up the route with um China. That's enough. And I go. I also set up Los Angeles to Bangkok with that 747 uh, that came out of uh, the route to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so that's all done. And so where did I go? Where was the first place I went? Uh, so yeah, as you can see, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so I've also got Los Angeles to. Is that Fu Fu Fukioka Fukioka or something? <laughs> uh, Guangzhou, Sapporo, uh, Hangzhou, Qingdao. Sorry if I get the, all these wrong because these are Asian and I can't really pronounce them. Um, I also went to Miami because for some reason I didn't have a route to Miami and I was like, what? Because <laughs> I I I I uh, yeah. That was after I thought well, there was no place in Asia I can really go now. And then I had a look at that and I was going, why the hell am I not going to Miami? I think I might have looked at it before, probably something like in the 60s when Miami wasn't that popular. And then, yeah. <laughs> then finally uh, found it then, so. Uh, yeah, now that's connected up. And then I also went to Madrid, Barcelona, Lagos and Moscow. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, uh, I think what I need to do is go from Los Angeles to Europe because literally the only other place I was going to when I found out was own going to London. That was it. That's the only place I, in Europe I am going um, with this. And with this 747-400 as well, I can link up to these places. As you can see, I've gone to uh, Barcelona and Madrid. Uh, but there's places like Athens, uh, Rome, uh, where else? Uh, well, London's uh, hooked up already. Uh, but places like that you can go to um, with the 747. Um, would there be anywhere else? Munich, maybe? Let's just have a look. Um, no, probably not. But um, uh, oh, Amsterdam, just about, I think. But I mean, there's plenty of places uh, all over uh, that can be connected up with the 747. Uh, so I will be doing that at some point. But oh yeah, also Cairo, I should think. Uh, oh no, burn no, that'll be a DC-10, uh, not DC-10. <laughs> MD-11, we've got to remember now, we've changed it to the MD-11. Uh, so yeah, I will be uh, doing uh, all of these uh, eventually, but... For now, uh, yeah, I am going to be uh, connecting them up. Uh, 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 what am I saying? <laughs> Not going to connect up now. Uh, yeah, I am just going to. Um, I am just going to. Uh, thingy, bats, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, we'll do them later. So yeah, and now we set them up. How many MD 11s do we have now? 45. And see, so, yeah, that's more DC 10s that we had, and then we had. And see, so, yeah, this will be our mainstay of our fleet. What will happen? Uh, I'm trying to think what I'll use once um, this plane goes out of production because it isn't in production for very long. I mean, I've looked it up, and the last one was delivered to Sabina in 1998. Uh, which, uh, yeah, uh, that was the last passenger variant. Uh, so yeah, this is a prop. That's probably around the time it's going to end. The cargo variant goes in production like way into the future. Like, I think about 2007 or 8 it ends in this game. So. And probably even further than that, uh, but I'm not doing cargo in this airline, so that's not really a big help. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, hopefully I should just uh, I should just order a bunch of these all the time and just have a load, and then just uh, once it goes out, I'm like, right, I've got a few, I can set up routes for them. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what I'd use after that. Because uh, yeah, it is really uh, thing that isn't okay. Because I mean, the seven six seven is pretty much out of the question. I could try the four hundred, I think. I could do that, but that's a bit too far, um, and that's uh, a bit lesser, sorry, uh, in capacity, uh, so yeah, I probably wouldn't actually do that. Uh, yeah, what else? Um, I'm <laughs> There's really nothing else, because I mean, it's li it's literally Airbus, which I mean, they don't know, well, yeah, I was going to say the A380, that's way too much. I will be using that as well, if you didn't know. Uh, AC-10, just no. A300, as, you, as I said, I'll be using the 600 from now on because uh, the B4 went out of production. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's literally just the MD-11 now, isn't it? Yeah, look at the DC-10. <laughs> Looks weird without the other little winglets. Uh, so yeah, uh, that that is something which I really need to think about, isn't it? Yeah, because Boeing, what did Boeing get? Boeing don't really come out with anything, do they? Yeah, that is going to be a dilemma, isn't it? I don't. I think I might have to go with uh, the uh, seven six seven four. Oh no, triple seven! 
Yes, there we go, triple circles. That comes out around that time, isn't it? And that's around that capacity. Yeah, okay then. That's good. <laughs> I was going to say, what's going to be the replacement for the MD11? But yeah, that will be eventually. That will be probably when I go through another major, um, uh, yeah, another major uh, sort of like route uh, aircraft replacement. Because right now I'm going to go through it. Then I'm going to go through it probably around about... The A380 will be the first thing, and I'm going to replace my 747s with that, um, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll be replacing my A380s with that. Uh, but there'll be a massive... The, 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 I think a lot of the, the routes will be diminished because, uh, yeah, it's a lot higher capacity. So, I mean, like, Los Angeles to New York will probably say it's it. <laughs> and, like, Chicago to New York. Things like New York to London, that'll be an A380. But, I mean, ones that I've got in there now, which I'm trying to think... Uh, something like, I don't know, something like uh, Los Angeles to Tokyo. That I'll probably switch out for the 777-300, which I'm thinking about getting. But you know, I was saying I was switching to, uh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I was saying about switching to an all Airbus fleet. I think I could try with the AP-40. I don't know. <laughs> I am thinking quite far in the future, yeah, but not even in the 1990s yet, and I'm thinking towards about 2010. Uh, but yeah, eventually the 777-200 will be replaced with the AP-50, so yeah. Everything there. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, the A300 B41 our production. So the A300 600, as I said, will be its. Uh, it won't be its replacement, but I'll just be using it until the A330 uh, 300 comes out, which is going to be replacing all 200. I can't uh, remember exactly which one. And I need uh, the three. Uh, the 200 I know has less capacity. I think the 300 actually came out first. And then they um uh, they sized it down because uh, I remember it was originally they had two variants they had because there was originally there was the original uh, AT4200 which was the smallest variant of the AT40 and then there was uh, the AT3300 uh, which is uh, slightly longer so then it sort of balanced out they were basically the same length and then Airbus just put different engines on them the uh, AT40 was meant to have a lot more range and the AT30 was designed for uh, yeah sort of like a quite long medium haul and the long haul routes and uh, yeah. Uh, I think it was a 300 originally, and uh, so I will be using that uh, to uh, replace uh, the A300. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be replacing my B4s with this. I'm just going to use it uh, sort of uh, as an interim aircraft, if you like. I guess how old are they? Because I just want to see if they'll last. I'm sure they will last, because I think it came out was it 1975, 1974? Probably might have been even later than that. 185, yeah, like that's our earliest one, so they will be definitely finer until I can get uh, the um, uh, A300 in. And see, we don't have to worry about that at all. Look at that! The last one we put in was just like a few months ago. <laughs> so, yeah, this, that's how old this aircraft is. Uh, so, right. Uh, yeah, that, that that will just be uh, as it comes through. I mean, this was just a, a lower range variant. That's all it was, so yeah. Three, uh, for 600, we'll replace it uh, for the uh, just uh, foreseeable future. Uh, well, I'll just, uh, yeah, just uh, use that just instead of that. So, right. Uh, now... What on earth are we going to be doing <laughs> for the rest of the episode? Because, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about that. We could... Could we order the 747s? Because so I don't want to do another time-lapse in this video. I don't like doing two. Oh, I could, actually. Hmm, I don't know. Because, yeah... Um, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's probably come to the end of the episode now, anyway. But, I mean, yeah, we can, I guess we can just sort of think about the future. Because, um... Uh, yeah, as I said, the because uh, the MD-11s, that's the other uh, one for sort of like the medium capacity long haul routes. Uh, so, I mean, if, if you don't know how it works, what I've got is I've got, um, when the Fokker 70 comes out, I will be using that on like quite low capacity routes, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be using that because it's my favourite plane, even if it doesn't have business, because screw you, I just want to anyway. <laughs> so yeah, then that. Then from about, I think it's about, how many passengers do these have? Uh, these are 737s. Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, it doesn't actually say. Um, I think I'll have to go or just onto that. Uh, yeah, then I'll say how old it is. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, 16 years old. Uh, not so how old? Passengers. What are you all about? <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's 113 passengers. Uh, so yes, uh, that is uh, that is what that is um, <coughs> uh, carrying. Fokker 70 carries about a maximum of about 110. I know, well, probably not even that to be honest, but I mean, <laughs> hence the name Fokker 70, it's, event, it's meant to carry around uh, 70 passengers, so I wouldn't expect it to, uh, to carry more than about 100, and uh, to be honest, I don't think it even does. Uh, probably 90 at the maximum, to be honest. Uh, so then it's that, then after that it's a 757, which uh, is about 172, if I can remember, I don't know, I remember that, but <laughs> there's that, then there's also the 74, uh, no, not the 7%, then there's the MD-11, 
Uh, and also the A300, but the A300 will be a sort of a medium haul route, but with the same capacity, uh, or slightly lower, but still the same, to be honest. Uh, and uh, then we also have uh, the 747 after that. And then Concorde sort of in its own little league. Concorde is really just long haul routes. Um, with very uh, sort of like that aren't very popular, but I mean I, I put the prices right down on Concorde, so um, and more passengers actually use it. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, never quite full, but uh, <laughs> I'm not charging the prices that uh, I that uh, British Airways and Air France did. Uh, I would say uh, actually, how much is it? Uh, New York to Ram out. Let's just double look at that. Uh, one thousand one hundred seventy. Uh, what? Yeah, one thousand seven hundred forty-three dollars. Um, uh, like the ticket. The one Concorde last one hour service was about eight thousand pounds. And so converting that, what's that? That's like eight thousand times uh, one point two nine, which is the dollar. So that's about I don't know two thousand maybe at maximum two thousand pounds, which is a lot less than Concorde was. <laughs> that's a very cheap fare. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is uh, that's just how uh, that that's just how I do it because uh, I don't want all people to go on Concorde. Why not? I am not meant to be making a profit here. Uh, I've just realised the time that we probably have to, to end this episode out here, so I know I've been talking quite a while. But yeah, that's sort of the future for my airline. Uh, but yeah, the 747, as I said, will be coming next episode. Uh, so yeah, well, the 747 <laughs> We're not back in the 1960s again. We do have the 747, but yeah, the 200 variant will be going out of service uh, in a very, very short time. And uh, currently, right now, is our oldest aircraft uh, in service. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the MD... Uh, the, um, Oh, so the DC-10s that we had, I think that they are actually younger, the, the DC-10 30s. <laughs> so yeah, this is, um, and this was in fact older, but uh, to be honest there wasn't really a replacement. I mean, there was a 300, but it's only slightly higher capacity and it's pretty much the 200 anyway, so there was really no point in getting it. And someone actually asked me that, I was like, why are you not getting the 7300? But yeah, I mean, ah, <laughs> <sighs> voices, but yeah, I mean, I'm, um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I do. it's just no point. There's no point replacing it or wasting all that money when there's a plane in which does the job just fine. It's just slightly lower capacity. And uh, I think, hang on, I think 300 is still in production. Uh, but yeah, if we just have a look at that, uh, I do believe it's pretty much the same uh, like range as well. Uh, in fact, less range, so yeah, I mean, it was even worse. <laughs> I guess the only advantage was it had a higher uh, satisfaction, but to be honest, it, doesn't really, it didn't really matter, so. Yeah, 300, uh, I never used, but yeah. <laughs> Don't know why they even did it to be honest, but yeah, I'm not ever going to be using it. But I am going to be using the brand new 400 variant uh, next episode. And something moved outside, it sounded like a box sliding off something. So, yeah, that is the end of this episode here. Uh, yeah, you'll probably see on the map like a left thumbnail because sometimes I, I, sometimes I look through the playlist and just see the thumbnails of Los Angeles and uh, just seeing what routes I put up. This bit here will be the main bit that I'll be seeing <laughs> for sure. So, yeah. I hope you did enjoy this uh, this episode. And uh, so yeah, as I said, I will be putting in the 747s uh, next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And thank you for taking my day. If you my channel, click on this video. And hope you watched this one like we did. Oh, I need some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I've got to record another episode after this as well. I am actually recording this a lot later than I normally would. What I usually do is the day that I'd run out, and like the Saturday that I'd run out of like the two little recordings I do, I'd record the next set. But what's the date today? Today's Thursday, so yeah. <laughs> this video is meant to be going out tomorrow at the time of recording, so yeah. This I was thinking. I was I just remember that I hadn't recorded. I was like, oh God, I better record it now because so yeah, I won't get the chance on Friday because then I'd have to record it, then I'd have to edit to try and get it out on Saturday because so yeah, I don't want to try and record it on Saturday because that is not the question because it takes a million years to upload. So yeah. <laughs> This will, um, hopefully, uh, yeah, be a lot. No idea what I was going to say then, just completely went out of my head. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of me, so again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video if you decide to do that one as well. Bye!